This is how close the doorway was to the source of the fire. This is the carport where we had time to move the car for them to bring their hoses in to fight the fire from here. This was a gas fireplace, and that's a propane tank place outside of the house because that's where Liberty Propane places tanks for gas fireplaces.
This is the chimney where the fire started. We believe that the intensity of heat from the fireplace got the wood of the house hot enough, but that's the working theory. The hose that I used to begin extinguishing the fire was connected right here. It went through this door. Through the doorway into this den. And I was spraying water on the fire and above the mantle. And then went to the second floor and saw through the floor gap that there were embers below, but no fire. If I had only pulled water to the second floor then and began to spray down, it could have been contained. We were waiting on the fire department. They had been called. I went across, up the steps, pulled down from the attic, and then went into the attic to assess the attic area. No flame, no fire yet. I wish I had begun to fill the tub, to bucket brigade, and throw water into the attic. At this moment, I wonder what had happened if any fire extinguishing had been done. I was of the belief that through this doorway right here, where I have images of the first office, the first fire tenders on scene, and I had taken the time to move our vehicle from what used to be a carport here so that they could bring hoses straight through this door to do more than what my hose could do. And it appears that we never entered the house to extinguish the fire. And I abandoned my post. I had running water right here. And I had the opportunity to extinguish from above embers right here. And in the attic, I had the opportunity to use the, a fire extinguisher to pre-treat or to spray down. Had my hose been, and I don't even know if it wasn't. As I look, it probably was long enough to get partway, maybe even all the way into the attic to begin to spray water to cool it. Fifty minutes after the fire started is when the remnants of the fiber pedestal because my buildings are connected by fiber and there's some of my conduit. This did not melt until 50 minutes later. I thought I was leading us to a fire fight and by having the attic exposed and by having the second floor exposed, we had every opportunity to walk in and extinguish and retard. It appears that we only walked in, did not listen to me, and made sure that I was out of the house for safety, and then did not proceed to extinguish anything. Had I not left using, if I not left my hose extinguishing water here, and then taken the hose and extinguished the water there, I believe that we would have been able to tend to the fire from the outside. Had I gotten the hose or an extinguisher into the attic, I could have retarded it. We had a house that was three separate spokes. And based on how long it took for this fire to burn, there were multiple hours. Look at the integrity of the building. What had been the integrity of the building, the age of the building the strength of construction. I had every belief when I abandoned my post that we were coming in this door through this carport to this fireplace, all within 10 yards 
to use some tool to begin to extinguish and retard. And instead it spread through here and it spread in this direction and we can see the rest. This is how it looks. This is Friday. This is Friday. This fire began Sunday night, a little after 6 p.m. when the wall on the other side of this outside chimney, the chimney that I continue to study for where, just where it could have betrayed us. But a chimney that it seems due to the amount of wood paneling inside the house just something happened through my own mistakes of not managing airflow into the wood. But I had the chance to extinguish it before it got here and before it got up here. And God knows before it got into all of this. And what do we see right here? In spite of the fact of never having enough during the fighter, fire, we have water. We have water. While I'm zoomed, what do I have 300 feet right about here? We have water, 10,000 gallons. I should never have abandoned my post. I did not know people were coming here to tend to and watch a fire. I thought we were coming here to actually extinguish it.